hello everyone, I hope everybody's keeping well. So, they done it, the government, I didn't think they would, and particularly the so-called Minister for Education, who is just literally the Minister for torturing everyone in the country and pissing everybody off, because she has a huge thing of trying to piss everyone off, and um, she purely determined to do that, that's her main goal as Minister for Education, just there to piss everyone off, like, quite literally, um, apart from a few t your teachers' unions um, said about doing the traditional leaving sort. Um, so basically they're going ahead with it. In other words, number 40 so said, fuck everybody else. I couldn't give a shit about students or teachers' feedbacks or student unions or anything like that. I couldn't give a shit. Uh, the general public, even members of the general public, was a poll done by parents and things. And they said, you know, predict the grades and the choice of sitting exams, sitting some exams and sitting others. And, you know, predict the grades and other shits. Um, and, and a lot of parents agreed with that poll too. Uh, and other members of the public too, but Norma Foley doesn't give a shit. Uh, quite literally, she's the one minister that actually doesn't give a shit about anybody. Um, and it's just out to just destroy people's mental health. Um, like, quite literally, last year she tried to pull the same shenanigans. Um, and the backfired terribly on her, and she never admitted that she was that she was the cause. Like, let's be honest, she was the bottle more than anything else to leave and sort. It was Norma Foley. At the end of it, you know, at the end of it, it was a very well done system to predict the grades and choosing to sit some exams and have to predict the grades and others. And I think that worked very well because it give people a choice. And at the end of the day, you know, people were able, some people I know were going on to mechanics said this before, and they were able to do their engineering course and only focus on engineering. But th this is the thing, and a lot of people don't understand this, and I just want to briefly mention this that, you know, predict the grades last year, you still had to go to school, you still had to do your exams, you still had to do other things. You know, it just wasn't. You just turned up and you got to predict the grades. Um, you had to work for it. You had to work for it. So it's not just a get out. Of, it's not just a get out of jail card or something like that. It you have to work for it. You have to work for it. Um, and you know, number four, I, I think the state has let children, young people down because we all know the leaving sorts just completely out of date. Uh, and it's no benefit to anyone. Like it's truly, truly no benefit to anyone. Um, it has nothing to offer you or me or to anybody in the state or any young person uh, and it's an old-fashioned way of doing things and it shouldn't be the way it is last year's one was very very good um we predict the grades and obviously teachers could predict your grades and obviously the teachers know you better and what's your strong what strong suits are compared to the examiner uh, and it'd be a bit more lenient because you know other countries are modern exam systems in this country we're back in the 80s nearly um we just don't have a clue how to run exams and even though this year i welcome to be some extra questions so you have more choice that more variant in what they can choose, they take for example an answers, and um, they have loud, they have more answers, um, for questions, they have more of a chance to get an extra points in X, Y, and Z, and places where they can give extra feedback and things on difference, like say if they have to read a story, um, say what he should do, take for example it's a bullying situation, what should he do, and you know write up, uh, have a spare page for them to write up a spare bit, um, and again I say I know a lot of leaving students have been talking to uh, talking to me, and I know a good lot myself, um, in my old school to do with the leaving sort this year uh, and obviously they're worried because they did miss a lot of time last year and we did, and every year really they missed about from last year, my year last year it was we missed a lot of time we missed nearly a lot of time and especially me I wasn't at school half the time so uh, it doesn't make any difference I didn't really give a shit never opened me I never opened me leaving sort so they were here or stay when I never opened it it just goes shows how irrelevant the leaving sort is uh, I walked into a civil servant job uh, in other words did wasn't asked about leaving sort just walked into a, a government job Fuck all was said about it, in other words. Uh, <laughs> never was asked once about the leaving sort. You know, never was asked what. Um, nobody ever looked for it. Like, to be totally, I, I mean, nearly a year after now, and nobody ever bothered to come looking for it. Um, and I never looked at it. I never I never actually went to it because I forgot the online login. Um, but yeah, number 40, there you go. There's a, I'm fucking you over somewhere. Um, just in sheer that I couldn't be asked going to the Department of Education and asking for my leaving sort results. Um, so yeah, fuck normal 40, in other words. Um, isn't that very nice? But yeah, normal 40 has done it. You know, we all knew that she fucked somebody over. Um, but she particularly likes fucking everyone over. But, you know, she's fucked everyone over here once again. Uh, hopefully there'll be a huge backlash. Uh, hopefully there'll be protests and everything. And ch students will sit an exam. Or enter the, just uh, take the exams to probably stand outside the school and burn them or something like that in some cases. Um, just to fuck over normal 40, like completely fuck her over. Um... Because we all know she done this. The reason why she's done this is because people online were making memes. Like, she's the biggest meme in the country, number 40 at the moment. Um, how cruel she is. Like, imagine this one used to be a teacher. The Minister of Education we have at the moment used to be a teacher. And lack of empathy 
she has for anybody. Like, she had a lack of empathy she has for anybody. The students asking her on Twitter and on Instagram and her social media accounts about what's going to happen, given Crowdy, they wanted Crowdy for so long. Was there going to be an exam? You know. And number four, he was like, fuck that, I'm going to tell you when I'm ready. In other words, I'm not going to tell you any other day. Um, so yeah, number 40, it's, it's number 40 great, like, you know, lack of empathy, she has never bothered to respond to any of that, block some of the students for asking her questions, um, empathy, and then disappears, like, again, she disappeared for about a month there, and nobody could find her, um, but yeah, that's the other thing, she just disappeared, now she will say something tomorrow about it, and then she just disappeared for about five months, and won't appear until the leaving sorts over, um, <laughs> so, so you know, where does she disappear to, this is the next question, but yeah, Typical number 40 out to just annoy everyone. Like, we all know number 40. I'm sure we all see this coming. But yeah, hopefully it backfires something fierce on her. Um, because let's be fair. And let's be reasonable here. If she was in an only job, an only public job, um, and not in the position she is, she would, you know, she'd be gone long ago. She'd be gone. She should be gone because she's useless as a means of education. Um, she's brought nothing to the table. She's brought pain and suffering to not just students, not just the teachers, teachers' unions, teachers, the parents, to the general public having to listen to her shit on the radio. Like, quite literally, it's, 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 yeah, I really, really go and have to get tablets after listening to number 40. Um, because it's just that bad of the gun being, the, like, the sheer bullshit she comes out with, like, <laughs> on the radio. Like, it, it just, misinformation is not even the word. Like, it's, 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 it's uncomprehensible some things she was talking about sometimes. Um, and just not answering any questions whatsoever. But yeah, just it's a great country.